Now we're going to see how material properties can let us manipulate polarization, and we're going to do it by describing different devices. So the first one is the linear polarizer. Okay, a linear polarizer, it produces um, linear, uh, linearly polarized light through dichroism. So there's a horrible definition because it basically just said what it is, linearly polarized light, and it used another word that you may not know, dichroism. So when I was your age, and by your age I mean the average age of the student signed up for this class, which is like 21, okay, a little younger than that, uh, I was sort of uh, in school and uh, some people would say, you know, it'd be good to learn Latin because then you would know all the roots of all the words, and then when you came across a word and you didn't know what it meant, you could figure it out because you know Latin. And if I had listened to them, I would know the definition of this without uh, having to look it up or learn anything, because I would know that the definition of dichroism now is one, the effect of causing a white beam of light to be split into two beams of different color. Dichroism, di, two, chrosum, color. So it splits a white light beam into two colors. So maybe I should have learned Latin. Well, no, I shouldn't have learned Latin because the problem with that idea is that it assumes that language is rational. And in science, language is often not rational. So dichroism has two definitions, and this is not the definition that we care about. This is really a rather untechnical definition. Many things can split a white beam of light into two colors. So when we say dichroism in terms of a physical effect, we mean the second definition, the effect of causing um, different polarizations different polarizations to be absorbed by different amounts. So, if you speak Latin, you probably think dichroism means this, and you're right, it does mean that, but it also means this. The effect of causing different polarizations to be absorbed by different amounts. And that's the kind of dichroism we mean when we're talking about a linear polarizer. So let's look at what it would look like. So here is a material that we're going to say is going to act as a linear polarizer. Here's an optical axis going through the material. And here is light um, that is going to hit the material and go through. And when we say the effect of causing different polarizations to be absorbed by different amounts, we mean that one of these is going to go right through and the other is going to be absorbed. So another definition of dichroism is an isotropy in n i, the imaginary part of the refractive index. So remember, n is a complex number. It has a real part that talks about how much you slow light down and how you change the wavelength inside the material. It has an imaginary part, which talks about absorption. So here we mean by anisotropy, we have different directions, polarization this way, polarization that way. So we can animate what would happen. As it goes through, you're basically going to lose one of the polarizations, and what comes out is polarized. So your simple linear polarizer, that's really all that's happening, is it's absorbing one of the two polarizations.